guys, I love to give companies a fair shot and a second chance. So when this AM8 Gladiator 2 came in, I was pretty excited because I had some real problems with the last knife that I had that came from them. So let's turn this around and let's take a look at how this company redeemed themselves because this knife is great. All right, guys, I'm finally getting back around to this knife. This is the AM8 Gladiator 2. Now, if you guys don't know, if you don't know this, I didn't know until recently, AM8 and Migron, it's the same thing. So Migron makes AM8. Um, so the Migron, Valona and everything, same family history here. So this is a really good knife. Now, I did have an AM8 knife on the channel not long ago. And I was really disappointed with it. Heat treat, ergos, everything about that knife. I was kind of disappointed in it considering how good some of Migron's other knives had been. This is completely a different experience. Everything about this knife so far has been great. So let's put up a spec sheet right here. You guys can look at it. I'll put it up there. I'm not going to read the specs off because I was able to find a good spec sheet this time. Let's talk about this. So this is a really, really well done knife. Titanium. G, uh, I'm sorry, uh, S90V blade. It's done in a really nice form factor. Let's get some size comparisons out of the way. So the first thing that you're going to see first is uh, the mini Arius flipperless just showing off. If you guys haven't seen the video about this, you can find that video up here. Um, you can see this is a small knife. I'm just showing off just because I happen to have that in my pocket. So let's get some actual size comparisons. With the Benchmade 940, a knife that you, most of you guys are going to know, you can see this is a this is a fairly beefy knife. I think it's just shy of nine inches. I, I put up the spec sheet. Let's move on to the final size comparison. The Chris Reese Benza Large 21. You can see really similar in size. It's a little bit broader, maybe a little bit longer. So let's get this out of the way and talk about how good this knife really is. So I wasn't expecting a lot knowing how the last knife that came up, oh, I didn't get it cleaned up completely. Uh, the last knife from AM8 came in and I was kind of expecting some of the same things. This knife is absolutely night and day from the last one. The comfort on this knife is really good. So let's go ahead and look at it. You're looking at a very uniquely shaped, almost gladiator, well, that didn't make sense, gladiator style knife here that has a lot of the same lines as the triple aught design stuff. Even with these lines on it, the blade is very, very nicely done. Lots of flat and then a little bit of belly up at the tip. It's done kind of a clip point with a nicely done swedge. And this has got a very, very fine blast on this like a bead blast or a glass blast on this that is relatively fix frictionless and has held up incredibly well i was expecting this to scratch up badly uh the handles on it done in titanium and they are really really comfortable the s90v blade with these handles like this cuts incredibly well very little fatigue in this really straight across the back a little bit here of swell where you feel locked in and then this finger choil just locks you into that cut so so well um heat treat on this completely opposite what i expected uh because the last one i had from them came and it was sharp and then no matter what i did that one came from a friend of mine uh, no matter what I did, it just did not want to hold the edge. It didn't want to cut the way I wanted. I tried different angles and it just never wound up being what I wanted. And this seems to be exactly the opposite of that. The action on this is incredibly smooth. Uh, AMA and Migron have got some of the smoothest action at the price point. Speaking of which, $158 on this. $156, I'm sorry. And you're looking at S90V and titanium. So this has got a top flipper that is done incredibly well. I can't quite get the front flip on this one like some of the others, but you've also got thumb stud and you can reverse flick on this. And like I said, just drop shot. I haven't even cleaned this up. I haven't even taken this knife apart to clean it up. Um, I, all I did was rinse it out under the sink. So like I said, great, great action on that. And then the fact that it doesn't have a flipper tab just makes it super comfortable in hand because there's nothing obstructing you from getting up on this and using that as a choil, even though that choil is fairly small, the fact that you can get right up on that and have that a little bit of additional space from the edge means that it's like having a full finger choil without having that much material removed. 
really nice lines on this. I, and I don't just mean these. I mean, the lines on this knife are clean. Um, I don't remember having a knife that had such straight handles being so comfortable. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact it's fairly contoured and it's nice and broad. And then this amount of material being removed just drops it. it you just pinch into that. And it just feels really, really good. You got a full backspacer on this back. Well, not a full backspacer, like a quarter backspacer, but you have a backspacer instead of standoffs is what I mean. And then this, this style of cutout on the lock bar for the tension really doesn't ever pose a problem in and out of pocket. You've got superb access to the lock bar on this. So it's not hard to disengage the lock. There is no lock stick. This is just such a well done knife overall. And then, like I said, the fact that it cuts so well has a lot to do with the width of the blade. It's a nice broad blade that then is ground down to a fairly thin behind the edge but not too thin profile. So just overall, a great, great knife. Now, I do have to say there was one thing. Now, this came to me this way, and it came from Jared over at Neves Knives. The tip has been dinked on this, and I didn't even try to fix it because I don't think I should sharpen a knife if it doesn't need it just to rectify something that's really not an issue. Even with that tip being knocked off, I still was able to do a lot of cutting up at the very tip, like scoring cardboard, cutting cardboard, things like that. So... Really, really an awesome showing from them, considering I was very displeased with the last one. Oh, last thing, weight on this for a big knife is nice and light because they did a good bit of weight reduction on that. So now there are a couple negative things on this knife. I have to admit as much as I like it, they are. So let's flip this around. We'll take a look at that right after you guys hear from this video sponsor. Guys, with Halloween officially being in the books, you know what that means. It's the start of the holiday season, which means Coffee Brand Coffee is starting to release some of their new flavors. You can see me opening up the one that they sent me right there. This is the butterscotch toffee. It is amazing. I'm having a cup of it right now. They have got some of the best flavored coffees you're going to find. All of their coffee is roasted on demand when you order it, ground or bean sent to your door. They also have cocoa. They have tea. They have got cold brew bags. And the thing is, now that it's the holiday season, they are starting to do their gift boxes. So if you want to get a gift for someone for, for Christmas, I absolutely recommend it. There is no risk because it's a money back guarantee if you try their coffee. And you can save 10% with my link. So check them out. Give them a shot. I absolutely love what they're doing over there. Guys, I got to get out of here and get back to filming. So just some very minor things on this. First things first, The while, I, while this is a pretty good action on this, I have a tendency when I'm flipping this open, and we'll talk about the thumb studs in a second, but I hit the thumb stud and I stop the travel on that when I'm using the top flipper. So I didn't use the top flipper too much. Typically I was using the thumb studs, which the action on it is really, really good. Next thing, the thumb studs on this are a bit tall and I did have a problem with this. This is one of those knives that I have had catch on the top lip of the pocket and try to come open. Uh, I think that these po I think these thumb studs could have been a little shorter or maybe ramped instead of being like barrels like this. They could have just been like the more akin to like the the Sebenza type style where they come up and they're ramped up like a volcano, and then it it has a tendency to not catch that material coming out of the pocket as much. Um, next thing, there is a little bit of a sharp spot right there, right there where your lock bar is. I don't. Like, I really wish that companies would just start knocking that off once they get that done and then they tension it. I don't know, like, it wouldn't take much just to knock that little bit of material off right there and chamfer that. They're already doing it there. Just bring it along the front there. And then two quick things. Pocket clip. The pocket clip is great in and out of pocket. It is possibly one of the smoothest in and out of pocket pocket clips. I got to say, this would have benefited from being ramped. If this little sharp or this hard edge right here was knocked off and like, you know, it would start here and then work its way back down. Like you see on a lot of other knives, instead of being so abrupt and squared off, it would feel a lot better in hand. It's not a bad hot spot, but you definitely are aware of it when you've got it in hand, especially if you're gripping down. And then for the final thing, just the final simple thing, this is, this is a knife that would have looked a lot better if they just milled a post in here instead of having a lanyard hole. I'm not opposed to you guys having 
lanyards. I'm not opposed to lanyards in general. I have several knives that have lanyards. I like having that option, but I don't like the way a lanyard hole looks. I think it detracts from the lines of the knife horribly. But with all that being said, is it a yup or a not? Well, considering how bad the last one was, this is a yup for me. I definitely do like this knife. Uh, I'm glad Jared sent it to me. It is a stark, stark difference between this and the last one that I had come in on the channel. And like I said, if you haven't seen that video, I'll try to put it up here. I think I already did it earlier, but yeah, this is definitely a better showing from them. Absolutely, the heat treat on this has been so much better. There is no issue with the edge on this at all. So with all that being said, that's the end of this video. Let's turn this around. Let's do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So yeah, a great second showing on the channel for this knife. This is this is one of the better knives that I've had come in in a very long time. The fact is S90, I'll have a link to it down below. S90V and titanium at $156. And the fact is, this is just a very, very good knife. I'm really impressed with it. I think you can pick these up Amazon. You can pick these up at Migron's website. You can pick them up the link I'm gonna have down below. Uh, I think White Mountain Knives had some, but I would absolutely not sleep on this. This is a knife I would recommend. So that's it on this one, guys. I'd like to remind you guys, I am doing giveaways for the members. I've got like, I'm looking at it at least eight knives, if not more, that are scheduled for giveaways. I'm going to try and do some holiday giveaways. So make sure that if you haven't checked out my memberships that you do, baseline and premium. So there's three tiers. The middle and top tiers are the ones that are entered in those giveaways. I may even do some giveaways for everyone because it's the holidays and I'm not the Grinch. Uh, other ways you can support the channel because that's my favorite way. I've got sponsors down below. Tempered Trail, Doll Strong Knives, Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Bar and Coffee and Tempered Trail have a discount built into their links, but you can also use coupon code CRAZYSHARP, all one word, to save 10% at checkout at both Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail, and also FarrumFordsKnifeWorks.com and Rosecraft Blades. So uh, I also have, uh, I've got links to most of the major vendors down below where I get a portion of it at checkout. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, knife Ship Free, GP Knives, uh, Blade HQ, bunch of others. I also have an Amazon store. You can take that pin at your browser, use it for any of the shopping you're going to do on Amazon. Absolutely supports the channel. And I have built a public Discord for everyone. So if you've got questions about some of the videos, it's probably a better place to find me than here in the in the uh, question in the comment section on these videos. So that's it on this one, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.